We've been talking about vaginal infection for the past few weeks and today is our third and last discussion on vaginal infection. Remember, we are not doing STIs, we are doing vaginal infection. Now, on our last vaginal infection, we'll be talking about one called trichomoniasis. It's caused by a parasite that is normally referred to as a protozoan called Trichomonas vaginalis. Yes, it's another long name. I know you get it very soon. So, how does this one to present? The causes are still is the same as the other. If you watch the other videos, it's still the same. But this one is more sexually related than the than even the others. So this one is also termed a sexually transmitted infection. Although it's a vaginal infection, it is a typical sexually transmitted infection. So this particular one too, your partner must be treated and we should fully screen you for all kinds of STIs. This is a vaginal infection, which is a full-blown sexually transmitted infection as well. Now, the symptoms of this one is like the other two combined. This time around, you're having a discharge. This discharge is thin and gray and also very washy. It also has a very bad smell. This one itches. This one will make the place sore and reddish. This one will make you have pain when you're having sex. Sometimes also discomfort when you're having, when you are urinating. All the symptoms of candida, all the symptoms of the bacterial vaginosis are all involved with the trichomonas vaginalis. So you can imagine a very uncomfortable infection. Now, before I continue, I must say you can have all the three together. You can have just one, you can have two, but you can also have all the three together. Yes, that is very, very possible. Now, anytime somebody has this infection, like I said earlier, you have to check you for gonorrhea, chlamydia, HIV, all kinds of STIs that you can think of. And the partner must also be brought in. This one, when you have your symptoms and you come to the hospital, the doctor will take a sample and will investigate. But the chances of a positive test is very, very low because of the way the organism is. It's a protozoan, they die really easily. So if you don't even take the sample, or you know even see it. If you don't do it on time too, you won't even see it. So sometimes symptoms are even just enough because we may do the test and we may not find anything. So we don't really rely so, so much on the test all the time. The symptoms are very important with this particular kind of infection too. It has very adverse outcomes. You can have pain when you are pregnant and you have it. You can have a miscarriage. You can have you can deliver the baby earlier than usual. You can have infections of the baby. With all forms of complications can arise because of this particular kind of infection. You can actually even transfer the infection to your baby as you deliver the baby through your vagina. Yes, it can be that bad. And don't forget that your partner should be treated. So how do you prevent this particular kind of infection? Check if you have, you know, if you have multiple sex partners, or you have sex indiscriminately, or you do drugs, it increases your chances of um, trichomoniasis. As I said, it is a typical STI. So anything you can think, how you acquire STI, how you prevent STI, works for trichomonas vaginalis infection, causing trichomoniasis. So avoid indiscriminacy. You have to use protection if you are going to have sex with somebody you don't know and all of that. It is very easy to treat. So go see your doctor and you shall be treated. Very, very easy to treat. Remember, your partner must also be treated, whether or not the partner has symptoms. The men, it can give the men non-specific urethritis. It's as if they have symptoms of gonorrhea, but it is not gonorrhea. You do the test of gonorrhea and it's negative, but they are having some discharge and discomfort and things like that. It can be that one, yes. So my dear listeners, this brings us to the end of Trichomonas Vaginalis. Hope you enjoyed it. Now we've come to the end of the series of vaginal infection. Next we'll be going to the men. We'll be dealing with urethral infection. Remember, this is not SCI. Later, we'll talk about SCI in details. Feel free to ask me any question you want. I will take time to address it and answer all your questions and concerns. Thank you and stay tuned for more. Thank you.